again, good afternoon. So uh, this is uh, the continuation of my uh, presentation. So I'm going to close my video so that you can see my uh, the whole uh, slides of my presentation. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, the second part uh, will deal with uh, phylogenetic analysis. Uh, I will provide a short introduction uh, on molecular phylo phylogenetic analysis, its application. Uh, this will be followed by a brief demonstration on how to use uh, the MegaX software for phylogenetic tree construction. I will highlight important points on how to in interpret a cladogram. Um, molecular phylogenetic analysis is used to infer evolutionary relationships based on nucleotide or amino acid sequences. Samples or data are grouped based on the similarities and differences of the genetic sequence. Phylogenetic analysis is dependent on the quality of alignment of the underlying data. Phylogenetic analysis is used in classification and identification of new species. It can aid in assessing DNA sequence evidence or in paternity testing. It is used to identify pathogens and source of transmission. It can also be used to discover novel bioactive com compounds with industrial, environmental, and pharmaceutical applications. Moreover, it can help inform conservation policy about which species are about to become extinct. Now, I will introduce an open source bioinformatics software that can be used for molecular phylogenetic analysis. MEGA-X, or Molecular Evolutionary Genetic Analysis, uh, is an integrated bioinformatics pipeline used for multiple sequence alignment of DNA or protein data to infer evolutionary relationships through phylogenetic analysis. This software uh, can be down, uh, easily downloaded uh, from the internet. Uh, there are six basic steps in phylogenetic tree construction. These include exporting FASTA sequences, aligning exported sequences, inspecting the alignment, quality trimming of unaligned sequences, saving the aligned sequence, and finally, building of the cladogram. Uh, for the sample analysis, I will use three different strains from three bacterial species, and I will include a different strain as an outgroup. So the three uh, bacterial uh, species that I will be using uh, are Shawanella algae, uh, Pseudomonas uh, oleoverans, and Pseudomonas istutseri. For the outgroup, uh, a different species is the uh, Escherichia coli, uh, strain U5 over 41. So I will be using the accession numbers of these reported uh, bacterial strains in NCBI for the sample uh, analysis. Okay. Uh, so for the first step, uh, to export FASTA sequences into the MEGA-X software, uh, click on the Align button uh, here. 
and edit build alignment. Then create a new alignment and then choose uh, the type of molecule. In this case, we are uh, dealing with DNA sequences. So click DNA. Um, in order to add new sequences using the accession numbers of the organism under study, click web and query GenBank. So this will bring you to the nucleotide database in NCBI website. Paste the accession number and click search. You will get to the GenBank database where the sequence in FASTA is recorded. Just click on the Add to Alignment button on the uppermost uh, part of the screen here. Okay. So there is a prompt that uh, where you can add the labels of your uh, uh, DNA sequence sample. So just choose on the suggested label, for example, here, uh, Shawanella algae, uh, the strain, and uh, include the accession number. So after uh, setting the, the sequence label, just click OK. okay. So after uh, 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 just repeat the process. Click on the web, uh, 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 query GenBank, and paste the accession number, and then uh, add alignment. So after uh, adding all the sequences for analysis, uh, you can edit the, uh, the labels of your samples. I highly suggest that uh, you put the accession numbers in parentheses. So these labels will be uh, reflected as it is in the phylogenetic, uh, in the cladogram uh, after phylogenetic analysis. So the second step uh, is to align all the exported sequences. To do this, click any base and uh, use the control A to select all the bases. After choosing or highlighting all the bases, uh, click on the align, uh, uh, the muscle program and align DNA and use the default settings. So click OK and uh, it will start to align uh, the data. So the third step is uh, to visually inspect the aligned sequences. So you can go from one end to other end to, uh, to visually inspect all the alignment. And then uh, as you can see here, uh, both ends of the uh, multiple aligned sequences uh, has uh, sequences that are not aligned completely. Here. Okay. So these bases uh, should be removed prior to the construction of the phylogenetic tree. Uh, because if uh, these sequence, uh, those sequences that are not aligned properly or uh, will be interpreted as polymorphic regions, thus similar species uh, uh, will tend to uh, be grouped uh, separately Unlike if you are going to uh, delete all those unaligned sequences and you're going to use uh, uh, sequences with this exactly the same length, then the actual uh, analysis on the different uh, DNA sequence will be used. Okay, so uh, to trim the excess sequence, highlight 
those unaligned uh, excess bases and uh, use the scissor icon or the X uh, icon to delete. Okay, so the peak uh, step uh, is to save the alignment. So to do this, uh, click data, uh, save session, and then uh, save the alignment in mega format. So just type the name of the file for alignment and click save. Right. So after saving the uh, uh, alignment, we can now uh, do the, the, the sixth step or the final step, which is the building of the datagram. So to do this, just click on, uh, click on phylogeny on this icon, and then you can choose uh, uh, any uh, building method so for this example, I'm going to use construct test maximum likelihood tree. Yeah. Then uh, we are just going to open the save uh, alignment in mega format. Okay. So uh, here you have to set the parameters. Uh, I would suggest to include a bootstrap method here uh, with 1,000 replications and a distance uh, uh, correction method like Kimura two parameter to ensure the quality of the phylogenetic analysis. So after setting these uh, parameters, the bootstrapping and distance correction method, uh, you can just click OK. Okay, so. Uh, the amount of time of uh, analysis depends on the length of the sequences being analyzed and the number of uh, uh, sequence included. So after analysis, uh, you can save the image uh, in PDF format. So PDF file can be uh, used in publication because you can just copy the, the saved PDF uh, image directly to the word format uh, without diminishing the quality of the figure. Okay, so uh, this is the result of the, uh, our example. So here you can see that all the pseudomonas strains are grouped uh, into one cluster as well as the other uh, pseudomonas strains, uh, pseudomonas seri strains uh, are grouped into one uh, clade. Uh, this is also true in the another species that uh, we use for Chironella algae. So the Chironella algae strains are also grouped in a single clade. So there are three different uh, clade, monopoletic clade, clade uh, uh, from our sample analysis. And you can see that our outgroup, the different species, which is uh, Escherichia uh, coli, uh, is not included in any of the cleats. Right. So uh, the, the cladogram can be represented in various uh, three rep representations. For example, uh, you, you can have it in the rectangular form, uh, radial or uh, circular form. Uh, the most common uh, uh, representation used for publication is uh, the rectangular uh, tree. Okay. So in interpreting uh, the cladogram, uh, you have to look at the, uh, the bootstrap value. The, uh, these values are indicated at the nodes of the phylogenetic tree uh, of the cladogram. So in our uh, sample analysis, uh, we have 100% uh, bootstrap value uh, in the group of a pseudomonas species and also 100% uh, percent, uh, bootstrap value for the clade of Shewanala algae. 
So uh, bootstrap values above uh, 90% uh, is strongly supported, uh, while bootstrap values below 50% uh, is not supported. So in the clade of Pseudomonas uh, oleoverans, uh, the bootstrap values uh, uh, is still above uh, 85%. This is also true with the Pseudomonas istoxeri. And uh, Shewanella algae, there is a very minimum uh, sequence divergence. Okay, so the sequence divergence uh, is estimated uh, by the scale bar uh, in the pylog uh, in the in the cladogram. So this scale bar indicates the number of substitution per site. So this length. So if you're going to co uh, compare this length to this length, so th uh, this length uh, means that there are two base difference for every one hundred bases. So the, the longer the, uh, the distance, the higher the sequence divergence. So for those uh, uh, strains in the same species, you can see that there are very uh, uh, short uh, sequence divergence because they are actually the same species. This is also true with this uh, clade and this clade. However, as you compare this uh, uh, genus, Shevanella algae, with uh, these two Pseudomonas uh, species, there is a uh, huge uh, sequence divergence. So it indicates that they are different uh, uh, on different uh, genus. So uh, this is also true with our outgroup. So it's really not included within the, uh, the cleats. All right, so I think uh, it's quite fast. So, so I have presented this earlier in the BLAST analysis uh, on how to uh, employ these techniques. So for the BLAST analysis, we, we can just uh, collect the cells at the shortcut version, uh, send these uh, uh, bacterial cells for sequencing and do simple BLAST and you can actually produce uh, a paper, a scientific publication with that information. So, so uh, having the sequence and uh, can actually be uh, used uh, for phylogenetic analysis. You, you can also extend your analysis further to get more or extract more information out of uh, that uh, DNA sequence using uh, phylogenetic analysis. So, uh, for the summary, uh, uh, molecular phylogenetics is used to elucidate evolutionary relationships, especially among prokaryotic organisms, including viruses. Phylogenetic analysis has become uh, an invaluable tool in the discovery of uh, new species or strains and in epidemiological studies. So uh, thank you for your attention.